guys. I think I got it. I have tried to start recording this video like three times. <laughs> Tony has the giggles and he's making me laugh and now it looks like I've been bawling my eyes out. Tony, what are you doing over there? <laughs> I'm just chilling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so anyways, we got up and got our showers and got dressed and I think we're gonna um attempt to head out to Vancouver today. Um we're gonna go to the Walmart up there. Yeah, we're gonna just hang out. I don't know. We just gonna hang out. Play by ear. Yeah. Wing it. We don't really like to be on schedules because then it just doesn't feel like you've relaxed or had enough like spare time to enjoy yourself so yeah. um we didn't eat any breakfast today because we weren't hungry i ended up falling asleep last night after i stopped the video but then i woke up at like two and um ate chicken yeah the chicken was really good um, Wingstop, right? Yeah, Wingstop chicken. The corn, the corn was good, but for some reason, like, I don't know, I must be getting old. I can't eat, like, spicy stuff anymore. My lips felt like they were on fire. So I told Tony that he could just, um, have the corn, but, um. It was good. It was really good. The chicken actually tasted... Like it said, like uh, like the flavors itself, it actually <laughs> tasted like that. Um, I think <clears throat> the lemon pepper chicken was really good. I think that was probably one of my favorites. And then the Parmesan chicken was good. The Hawaiian chicken was good too. They were all good, but if I had to pick like my favorite, I'd probably say the lemon pepper chicken was probably my favorite. Uh, garlic Parmesan. They all were good though, you know. Man, it's kind of like... Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna put my shoes on. We're probably gonna <coughs> um head out. I know there's a couple places that we want to eat at today. Probably one for lunch and one for dinner. Um, probably. So I'm excited. So I'm gonna put my shoes on. Basketball. Look at Tony and his Philly stuff. Mr. Philadelphia all the way. Embiid. His, his little um, basketball team is doing pretty good this year. So he's excited. Um, but yeah. Alright, so um, I'm going to put my shoes on and we're going to head out. And I will make sure I vlog. Um... Whenever we get to where we're going. So you guys can hang out with us today. Alright, so I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys. So we're in Vancouver. Um, we already went to Party City. We just had to run in there and get something that I had ordered online. But now we're at Walmart in Vancouver. Because they, they sell alcohol, like liquor, in the stores here. Whereas they don't in Oregon. Um, so, we stopped here because one time we stopped at a Walmart and they actually had a bunch of stuff on clearance. It was really nice because we got it for like super cheap. But I'm going to find Tony. How oh, there he is. He's already over there looking. Alright. So, here's their little liquor store. Oh, it's so small and cute in here. Hey. Huh. Oh look, they have the um, Smirnoff Pink Lemonade. And this, this is the size bottle that we have. And then they have this big old one for $20. I think we paid yeah. like 13 for it at home. Oh, it is? Yeah. And then, um, That's one of our favorites, too. Red, White, and Berry, that's so good. They only bring it out around like summertime, like Memorial Day and 4th of July. But that's really good, and if you mix it with a regular um, Rockstar. Rockstar, it tastes just like a bomb pop. 
All their Malibu rums. Oh, Svedka's good. Mango pineapple and cherry limeade. Yeah, that's good. Oh, this is so cute, this little liquor store. Yeah. All right. Um, do they? I know that you they have before. Uh, you probably just take it to a normal register, but did you want to find some ranch? Oh, yeah, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't know how it works. We just went in there and grabbed it. There wasn't even anybody around. Um, or I don't know if we can still shop. I'm going to ask somebody because we don't want to get in trouble. Because I know at a different Walmart, um, we had to pay for all of that first. So give me one second. Let me just ask real quick. Okay. Yeah, she, the cashier said we were good to go shop for some stuff. She she said we can just shop. We don't have to pay for it. Right now. Yeah. So we're going to go find some ranch. Because I think we're going to eat some pizza tonight. And you got to have ranch with pizza. This store looks weird. It's all bright. Because it still has all the white floors. A lot of the stores have brown or like cement floors now. But anyways. Um, yeah. We're going to go. Oh. All right, we're gonna go find this ranch and get this paid for and leave out of here and then I'll vlog again. The small, just the small? Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll vlog again when we get to our next stop. So see you soon. All right, guys. So um, we just walked out of Walmart and I think we're gonna go to Ikea today. We were gonna go tomorrow, but I think we're gonna go today. But first, we're gonna head back into Portland and go eat at a food truck called Trap Kitchen. We've been there before and their food is freaking delicious. So anyways, um, that's where we're headed to now and then um, I'll vlog when we get there so that you guys can check out the menu and um, definitely show you the food. So we will see you in just a few minutes. Bye. All right, hey guys, so we made it to um, Trap Kitchen. It's a little food truck. Um, I'm probably gonna insert some photos of the menu and stuff like that in our video. But we also do like um, food review vlogs, and so we'll probably um, do a food review more so versus um, vlogging for this particular video. Um, but um, if you guys wanna check out that, just to see um, how the food is and um, get more in-depth details about it. And that'll be awesome and like and share subscribe um to our page please you can check it out if you're in the area yeah if you guys are ever in the portland area and you see some of the places that we eat at like check it out um we'll be 100 percent like honest with how our food is or whatever um but yep so anyways we're gonna go over here and order our food i'm gonna take some pictures and um we'll get back to you guys soon all right, so we're just waiting on our food. We ordered it. Um, I ordered the garlic noodles with steak. And Tony, what'd you get? Uh, I ordered the seafood baller box. With, uh, I think it comes with lobster, crab, shrimp, and salmon, and it was uh, 40 bucks. Yeah, so he'll have some food to eat now and probably some for later, but I just can't wait to get it because this food is so freaking good. But um, yeah, so we're just waiting on that and then we're gonna eat and then I think. I can show them a little bit of the truck if you like. Okay, yeah, I'll show you guys what the truck looks like. This is the food truck. Um, I think they're based out of Compton, California. They have like a little tribute to Nipsey. Aww. Uh, but it's like a family based truck, I think. Um, yeah. Everybody's pretty nice. Um, and uh, if you go on YouTube and you uh, YouTube these guys, um, you'll see uh, E40 came here to visit out here in Portland to this uh, specific uh, food truck. So um, he in inspired me to come out here to come try it out. And so this is our second time. The first time we came, it was just so good. We just enjoyed it. We didn't have time to vlog or anything. So we just did pictures. Yeah. So this time we'll make sure you guys get a chance to 
kind of see what we're working with over here at Trap Kitchen. Trap Kitchen. All right. Yep. All right. So um, we're just waiting on our food, and then we'll um, get back to you guys. cooking which is fine we're not in like no big hurry but just waiting on our food Tony's on the phone checking in with the kid because he wasn't feeling very good so um yeah it's hot out here like I've brought hoodies just because of the time of year it is but it's really nice out the sun is out it's blue skies um yep so anyways I think my food's almost done so um, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a few. Alright, so um, we just got our food. Um, so you see food bag. And she said she threw an extra trap leg for them. She said they don't normally do that. Holy smokes! Let me show you what this looks like. Mm -hmm. Gosh, that looks good. That came with some little dipping sauces. Looks like maybe some cocktail sauces or something like that. Yeah, that's a lot of food. Oh. He's about to throw down. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, I got the garlic noodles. Get them out of here real quick. Give me one second. Let me help. Okay, so here's the garlic noodles. All that sauce, noodles. I've had these before, but they're super, super delicious. You doing this? Mm -hmm. this. this. Look butter. at that. Butter, butter. Go big or go home. Let's get all that crab meat out of there. Are you supposed to dip it in the butter? Oh. How is it? Pretty good? The crab is really sweet. It's not overcooked. It's like steamed perfect. Now see, normally for me, most of the time when I, when I go out, I like that. I'm a seafood guy. I'm gonna get a big piece for you guys. So I give you guys the perfect, perfect bite. That big old piece. Oh my god. That's what we all been waiting for, yeah. Um. Oh my god. How was that? Oh my god, so amazing. Freaking good. Mm -hmm. What else do you have in there? Alright, so that's the crab leg. Some nice eye shrimps. You gonna dip that in the butter too, or is there like cocktail, yeah, cocktail sauce? Cocktail sauce, yeah. Well, that's probably ketchup for the fries. But I, uh oh, I'm going to play. All right, so I guess I can try this in some ketchup. It's good hot sauce though. So. Says hot sauce. Let's see. 
hot sauce. Ooh, is that lobster? Mm-hmm. Like a lobster little shish kebab. Mm-hmm. They stick the, the toothpick in there so it don't crumble up. And it's deep fried also. Alright. Let's do I'm gonna do one part hot sauce. What's that? Oh, fish. Oh, these are your little fish pieces? Oh, mm -hmm. those are cute. They're like nuggets. It's like fish nuggets. Definitely well worth it, huh? Mm -hmm. No, thank you. <laughs> work here. Man, she put this to perfection. Yeah. Alright. Like this place is massive. I don't know if you guys have ever seen an Ikea. They have like so much like cool stuff in here. And it's not like super expensive. Oh look at that. <clears throat> Ikea is like right by Portland Airport. So like the fly the planes um, flying in and out. Flying out all day long. But yeah, so we're gonna go in here. It's really cool. It's just like, you can't just like wander wherever. I mean, I guess you could, but they have like a little system. Like you first go up these escalators and it's just like, I don't know, you'll see. It's hard to explain. I don't know what the words are to even tell you, but everybody just goes the same way. So it's kind of cool. So. Just gonna go in. Uh, like yeah. Six months. There. Where are you going? Every yeah. day. All right. So this is the way in. Um. Yeah. There's the escalators, but we're gonna do a quick bathroom break before we head upstairs. All right. We're um getting ready to go up the escalator, but we're gonna walk over here and get one of these um. Ikea bag for our shopping bag so we'll just grab one okay all right now we're at the top they always have like all these little rooms and stuff set up with all the decor and everything that you would need so like if you see something that you want everything has like a number You can get it when you get down to the bottom, like big furniture stuff or whatever. And it's always different. They always like redecorate different like little rooms and stuff. So yeah. So here we are. We're gonna walk through here, see if we can't find some cool decorations. And then Yeah. Hello. 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 This lady's going the wrong way. I've been drinking. She's been drinking. She's been drinking. Um, but it's like this little 
like track. Yeah, so we'll stop in one like, of the like Yeah, so like this is one of the little rooms that they have set up. And everything in this room, you can buy it. So if you want this room in your house, you can buy it. Like everything has like a little tag. Tells you how much it is. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's just really nice here. They have like a whole kitchen area set up here too. Tony. Ooh, that's nice. Hey guys. We um ate all of our good food at Trap Kitchen. Hello. Yep. Ikea. We didn't really find much at Ikea this time, which was fine. And then we left there and we went to Bed Bath & Beyond. Didn't really find anything there, so now... We are at the mall. We're gonna hang out at Clackamas Town Center for a little bit, so... Right next to the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, because... We need to eat more food. Psych! But yeah, so we're just gonna go in here and... Hang out. This is a pretty big mall. It's um, it's upstairs and downstairs. We usually come up here when we um, are coming to come over here to the mall when we come to Portland. My husband is weirdo. Uh, I'm kind of thirsty. I'm thirsty too. We're gonna go find something to drink. Theater, Century Theaters. We have Cinemark um, where we live at in Eugene. But I think now we're gonna go try to find us something to drink. Yeah, I'm thirsty. You wanna get a drink from Panda? Yeah, get a couple large drinks. Okay, we're gonna go get us some drinks from Panda Express. And then we're gonna go walk around the mall. Gosh, we got us um, a couple of drinks because we were thirsty from Panda. I can't eat any more food. I'm so full. And you know, we just walked by this place that has like um waffle cones. Waffle cones. Oh my god, they smell so good. Like kinda like smelt the whole mall. Well she says she's full, but she, we gotta get Chick-fil-A to take back to the room. She's never had Chick-fil-A guys, so we've done reviews on Burger King, KFC, and Popeyes. And so we gotta go to the where the original chicken sandwich started is at. Um, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. You know why? Because I'm cheap. Like, I'm the cheapest person that you even meet. Like, Tony says I'm even cheap, but I have to spend his money. Yeah. And I'm always looking at clearance stuff, and he's like, Rachel, stop. So, we're about ready to go into Champs. I'm going to try to get him to buy me some shoes. So, we're going to walk in here to Champs and um, see if they have any cool sneaks in here. Well, we didn't really see nothing in Champs. I don't, I don't know. I think we're going to try to find Foot Locker, though. Yeah, I think it's downstairs. I have to go down the escalator. See you later, escalator. <laughs> She's trying. She's trying, guys. Yeah, but they had... No offense against anybody that likes them, but they had Crocs in Champs. I'm just not a, a Croc person. I know Nicki Minaj posted something about her Crocs on Instagram, and they said Crocs stock went up 1,000%. Holy crap. Yep. We should have invested in Croc stock. <laughs> <laughs> Croc stock. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> Croc nope. stock. Oh my god, that's so funny. We gotta be on the, the escalator. It's gonna be scary. Eek! I don't have no hands. Oh. I'm afraid of heights too. Look at them. Say hi.
don't necessarily We made it and I didn't die. go find Foot Locker and maybe they'll have something worth buying in there so yeah all right oh my god guys I gotta show you this little car look how small that is is that a real car hey, look how little this thingy is that thing is super small <laughs> hmm Yeah, a little too small for my body. Did you see that little tiny car? That's crazy. <laughs> it's like a clown car. It is like a clown car, and it's like one, like a one-person car. Spencers. Hey, bro. A little um, <laughs> vendors. Trying to sell Tony some cleaner. Yeah, for some brand new shoes I got on my feet. He talked about, yo, like I know your shoes are clean, but let me show you something that'll keep them clean. Like, bro, they brand new. Yeah. Yo. Hey, I don't think he needs cleaner for his shoes. Nah. Oh, build a bear. No, look at the line. You have to wait to get in. No, you have to order those online. Oh, never mind. Oogie Boogie. What Oogie Booger? Oogie Booger? I don't know. Oogie... Oh, you said it right. Okay. You said Oogie Booger. No, he didn't. But... Alright, well... We're still looking for Foot Locker. Um, so, <clears throat> I'll get back up here when we find it. <sighs> hey guys, guess what? We finally found Foot Locker. Um, but it's up there. So, we're waiting for the elevator. Going on the elevator. Ooh, the second floor. Up. up, up, in the way. There you go. Hope it don't break. Ooh. Here we go. Okay. Could open any time now. Okay. Now we're gonna walk around the corner. It's over here. Where are you going? It's over here. There's some famous footwear's over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kinda got turned around. Okay. We're gonna go in here and see if they have any cool shoes. Some cool, cool, cool shoes. All right, um, we'll let you know if we find anything. Like we have so many pairs of Air Max. I love Air Max, um, but look at all these. These ones are nice. Good. How are you? No, we're just looking. Okay. All the shoes. I have so many pairs of shoes. Which, Tony has a lot more pairs of shoes than I have. 
<sighs> so these shoes right here. Um, oh, these. These are the um, Air Force One Shadows. Those ones are actually cool now that I see them in person. But um, Tony just ordered me the pink ones. He has, he ordered him some matching ones too, but I really like those ones. I'm gonna go get him and make him buy me some shoes. Okay. Let's go stop by Chick-fil-A and grab some to take to the hotel. Let's go chill. Okay. You know, so that way we ain't going all day. We yeah. So we didn't buy any new shoes. Yeah, we already got some at the house, but we're shoe whores, so we love new shoes. That's just what we do. That's something we do. We actually had, I actually had a new pair of shoes. Tony bought us matching shoes, and they were delivered to our house yesterday after we left to come to Portland, so we couldn't even bring them with us. Yep. So we'll insert the picture of those in the video, so you can guys but, yeah. get a chance. To I know I'm still so full but we're gonna um, run by Chick-fil-a and grab something just to eat later and we're gonna go back to the hotel chill. and chill for a little while and then we'll hang out with you guys there too you know we'll have a few laughs or something you know something yeah. funny so yeah all right we're gonna find our way out of here we gotta go back yeah, the other way that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> we're walking the wrong way we just, we got to walk down to where the Cheesecake Factory is. Yeah, turn around. I just turned around in this mall since we came up on the door. Yeah. It's not very busy in here for, like, being a weekend. Well, a lot of people still at work. Yeah. So I'm sure in probably about five, six, it will start getting busy in here. And then I think Cruella... The Disney movie came out today. Oh, it did? And since there's a movie theater inside here and the movie theaters are open now, I'm sure you know. It'll probably be busy. Yeah, it's going to pick up in uh, here. Oh, I want to see that movie. You guys want to see Cruella? Like that, that movie. Well, we got Disney Plus, so we can all, always pay for it on a yeah. Disney Plus and just watch it home. Those hoodies say all day I dream about sneakers. It's not that bad. We're not that bad. No, that's Adidas. That's the. <laughs> Abbreviation for Adidas. Oh. But at the end, it's not sneakers. It's <laughs> sex. All day I dream about sex. And that's uh, the Adidas abbreviation. Yep. Useless information. Yeah. Useless knowledge. Oh, we found the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. All right. So we're getting ready to exit the mall. Exit stage. And right. then, um, we'll hit you guys back up once we get back to the hotel. Okay, we're gonna stop by Chicken Chick-fil-A. <laughs> we're gonna stop by where? Chicken filet. I was gonna say chicken filet. Chicken filet. Yeah. So we're gonna stop by Chick-fil-A and then we'll hit you guys back up when we, when we get back to the Tell hotel. We get comfy. Take my shoes off. So alright we'll see you guys then. Bye. Okay we're at Chick-fil-A. Um it's must be busy all the time or something because I'm going to show you guys. This is like their drive through line. And they have um, all their little Chick-fil-A people out here taking orders. Which it was super easy. They took our order um, and put it all in on their little keypad and then we'll just come around the corner. Oh, sorry. We'll just come around the corner here and just pay for all of our stuff. As soon as we get it, we'll let you guys know. Yeah. Or we might just go straight to the hotel. Yeah. I'm too full to eat it right now. But we'll still I'm show not. you. <laughs> I had like noodles and stuff. Tony just ate seafood, so you know that don't last very long. Well you see food and you eat it, right? Yeah. So alright. Well it looks like they're gonna have us pay for our food up here, so we're gonna quit recording. Like this is kind of a real cool process they had. So they took our order and then we went up around the next corner and we paid for our food on one of the little iPad things again. And then we drove around. We're driving around through the drive-through and then I think somebody comes out and brings the food. They're, they're super busy. I don't know if you guys have ever seen like an in and out but they kind of have the same process because their lines are like 
insanely long. Yeah, like two hour wait in their drive through lines. It's it's crazy. I think In and Out is more like a not like a West Coast thing, but I know people in Oregon go freaking nuts over that food. We've ate it once, um, and we'll probably try it again to get better like review on it or whatever because I wasn't like super impressed with it when we ate there but we just know some tricks and stuff like their fries tasted underdone but um, we then realized that you have to order them like well yeah like extra done um, in order for them to be crispy so yeah we're just sitting here waiting in the drive through line so yeah hopefully we'll get through here soon And there's the people that are handing out all the food so um, we're just gonna get our food head to the hotel and then we'll get back up here finally we're back at the hotel um, I think we're just gonna chill kind of relax we seems like we've been going and going and going all day so yeah I think we're just gonna hang out here um, we're gonna get some pizza later at this place. We might have to go out and get it, but we're gonna see if they'll deliver it. So we don't have to go out anywhere else, because Portland is like the biggest city in Oregon, and so the traffic's always kind of crazy, especially since it's the weekend, so. But anyways, um, so we're here, we're gonna chill. Uh, I'll probably vlog in a little while. Once we like start hanging out, so yep. Until then, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so we just been chilling this afternoon. Um, I took a nap. That's why my hair looks like it does, cause I had the covers all like all the way over my head. But we um, decided to order some pizza from a Pizza Shoals. Um, we've never had it before, but it's a local spot here in Portland, and um, it took them like two and a half hours to complete our order. Um, that's just how busy they are. And uh, we went and picked it up. We're gonna eat some pizza, but I'll definitely show you what it looks like. Um, they have a lot of options too, and you can create your own pizzas. Um, they also allow you to do like a half and half. So we got like, it's called half pep, sausage, mush. And it's like pepperoni, their homemade sausage and mushroom. And then the other half we got onions, um, cotto salami and meatballs um, with garlic and basil also. So let me see if I can show you guys what it looks like Ooh, look how good that looks <clears throat> yum so this is like their homemade sausage mushrooms pepperoni and then this side is onions the uh, salami yeah, so I'm excited to try this. It's really big, too. Um, we're probably definitely going to be taking some pizza home with us. Uh, no. so. We'll smash this tonight. I mean, we're not going back out. Yeah. And kind of same thing that happened with the chicken last night. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, so we're definitely going to eat some pizza and hang out. And Tony's made him some drinks. So red, you know, the red, white, and blue. I'm actually being patriotic. So, anybody got anything to say? <laughs> I don't care. It matches your white, jersey. Blue. Oh, yeah. Red, white, and very. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, we're just going to chill in the hotel. Um, Watch a little TV. Yeah, and just hang out. So, yeah, we'll uh, vlog throughout the night whenever we get bored or, you know, kind of like we did yesterday. Anyways, but um, yeah, we'll eat that, like know definitely how this pizza is. It should be pretty good seeing it took them, you know, a long time to get it ready, but 
You know, you can't like rush quality. We found so many little spots out there too. We sure did. Just driving to go get the pizza. It was like a 20 minute drive or whatever. And it took us down like all these different little roads. And um, there's like so many places to eat. Like, I don't think, even if we lived up here, I don't think that we could eat at every single place there is and that's not even chain restaurants that's just like local um I mean, spots, spots yeah. yep and we like try to support our local small businesses um especially this time um because the economy and because of this covid19 junk going on um so yeah anywho um we'll vlog in a little while we're gonna eat some pizza and just chill i'm gonna put my pajama pants on and get comfy so we will talk to you guys soon mm -hmm.